now we have set up the heading now it's time to work on the text as well so if i will go on a portfolio figma design then you will find that we have a different kind of text as well so let's work on it and uh, we have this kind of text let's do it one by one again fastly okay just we did for the heading so for this thing we are going to use another component of the chakra ui called text it is rendered the pre tag that's why we are using the text component from the chakra ui and in the last video just we did we added the different kind of variety we will going to do the same thing for this text as well so it will be a similar of the last video so let's go and start writing the code but please make sure to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video it will motivate me to make such more video okay so let's go and write the code so okay let me just uh, do this thing quickly so here inside the foundation i am going to create a new folder the folder name will be pf paragraph or we can use it pf text it's up to you and uh, similarly we will going to create a story for this pf paragraph so i'm going to create a new folder and inside the pf paragraph what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new file that will be an individual component of the pf paragraph similarly for the story of the pf paragraph i'm going to create a file pf paragraph dot stories dot tsx that's it and let's create a functional component so in the functional component we will going to use the chakra ui provided component called text let's go on a browser and let's see how to import it so here we are going to import it and uh, after importing the text component let's just return the text component like we did on the last video so let's render the hello world again okay and let's create the corresponding stories just we did on a last video for the heading let's create a story for the a paragraph okay so let's do it quickly let's import it and uh, let's import the react as well and let's create a default function to export this pf paragraph okay it will be a export constant hit the save and let's go on a browser and visualize our storybook so here we have the storybook and here you will see that we are not able to see the text again because again it is have a white color that's why it's shadowed so what we have to do we have to fix the color as well just we did on a heading right so let's work on a theme first because if you go on a figma design then we don't need to hard code the color of the text as of now because we have a different kind of color so this color have the light color and this color have the black color okay so this one are the black and light okay so this time we are not going to hard code the color on the component itself we are going to hard code the color on the variant so here for the heading we had the different kind of variant and here itself we can hard code the color as well so at this time for the text component we will going to hard code the color for particular variant okay so let's add a theme for our text component so what i have to do i have to just copy this text component and let's go on a theme let me just close those two file of the heading just after the heading theme we are going to add the theme for the text as well so let me copy the variant and uh, let's add a first variant okay so what will be our first variant and what will be the property of our first variant so as of now i'm not going to just do which is the biggest font let's start from here or let's start from here we have to do it quickly so let's start from here itself so it have the dark color and it have the font size and font width and line height 23px let's go over here and uh, 
let's use this along with the color color will going to be a dark color okay let's add the dark color quickly okay and uh, let's see what is the 16 and 23 px 16 and 23 px it will be our first variant okay so let's go and let's go here and let's okay let's go here and let's uh, create a type of the props type let's get a variant as well as from the props like we did on the last video props the first thing we will going to need is variant and second thing is the text the text which we want we wanted to show okay so let's get it and let's assign a variant we need to get it as a props so i'm just doing the thing we did on the last video so i'm just doing the thing right now very quickly because i don't want it to lend this video so let me add the text as well so now this component is kind of customized let's go over here and let's pass the variant first first variant along with the text the text will be variant one let's go on a story book and let's see yeah this is the variant one along with that text and line height i mean along with that font size and line height let's go on a figma design let's find the second text this is the second variety have the dark color and font size 22 and 60 line height let's do it let's add the second variety quickly variety 2 it have the 22 px 60 px and let's add the storybook have the paragraph one or pf paragraph one let's add the pf paragraph one only where i n two variant two hit the save let's see on the storybook yeah now we have the variant two let's go and uh, now this one is also have a different phone size 1826px so i'm doing the thing quickly if you want then you can just do it by your own 1826 let's visualize it as well then later thing we are not going to visualize it we will just going to okay. we will just going to add that theme okay so this is a third variety so this is the third variant okay so now we have added the three type of variant let's go for the fourth one so this one and this one is also same 1826 so this all are completed let's work for this one so this is a fourth variant have 20 and 29 let's go over here let's visualize this as well then 20 and 29 it have the 20 and 29 20 29 and it have the line color so let's use the light color let's go over here let's add the fourth one so the thing i'm doing it's really quickly but you know the funda right we already know the funda that what we are going to perform so this one is variant four and it have a different color so this is a way we have to add for the text and uh, what i'm going to do that i will going to find all kind of text available on our figma design 
and I was going to add the theme of that takes in our this theme.ts and you can find that theme.ts link from the description so just go and just copy the theme.ts and paste it on your project so because this video may become lengthy that because I need to find out all the type of variety takes available on our figma design and I had to put all the theme over here so what I'm going to do I'm going to do it offline and I will going to provide the link of the theme.ts on the description okay so that's it for this video that we have added the text our own pf paragraph and we will going to use it everywhere we just have to provide the variety i mean the variant and the text and that's it then we will just going to use it okay so let's meet on the next video in the next video we will going to work on the phone family that if you go over here we have the hebo phone family okay so let's add a phone family as well of our react app then what we are going to do that after that next video we will start writing the code of the main page okay this main page code we will going to start from the next video okay till that please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video it will highly motivate me thank you all happy coding